Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Our weekly channeling session today is topic-based. We're going to ask about spirit guides. And the guest that we are going to ask about spirit guides is Robin Williams. So I'm looking forward to be able to share with you some of the insights from the afterlife that Robin Williams will bring forward to us about this topic. So let's welcome in Robin Williams. Hi Robin, it's been, it's been a while since I've uh, channeled with you and connected with you, so thank you so much for coming today. His energy, everyone, I hope you can feel it is, is very cheerful. It's very joyful, his energy, and it feels, it feels good. It feels like sparkly, tingly, it feels enthusiastic, it feels um, almost childlike. There's definitely a energy of inner child wanting to play kind of vibration that comes in with <laughs> Robin Williams. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. Will you share with us, please? We're going to discuss the topic of spirit guides. As you know, will you share with us what is your insight about spirit guides? What does it mean? What does it mean to have a spirit guide? How does that work from your perspective now as an afterlife spirit? Okay, he's got the, the red nose on, the red nose like funny, he's trying to be funny kind of thing. Um, it reminds me of the movie Patch Adams, he has this red nose on. And, um, he says lighthearted, that's the first thing that I want to make sure that people understand, lighthearted, lighthearted. That the point of life, the purpose of life, the meaning of life is to really enjoy the journey of it, to experience it fully. And part of, part of what your spirit guide question is about is how you can do that. Because your spirit is what knows. Your spirit holds all of the freedom that you are looking for. The freedom of expression, the freedom of creativity, the freedom to be who you are all of the freedom to create the opportunities for you to play, to find joy in life, to express yourself. That is the purpose. And so the energy that, that comes through with the spirit guide is energy to remind you not to be so serious about life. It's to help you enjoy and have fun with your life experience, to not be so serious about it. And that brain can certainly get in uh, be a bit of a downer that's that happens the brain can be kind of a downer and you can get hit with things like illness and um, disease and your mind can do all sorts of things that can really wreck the fun and the spirit guide the energy of your spirit wants to have the experience the most enjoyable as possible now that might be hard to believe when you look at the landscape of humanity and how things are unfolding these days. And what you learn from other humans can sometimes not be so pretty. Now I understand that. I lived in a body. I lived in a human life. It's what Robin Williams is saying. I lived in a body. I lived in a human life. I know how hard it can be. But when you ask about spirit guide, which is a very good a very good place to start. This is a good place to begin. You then know that you can recognize that you are more than just a body. You're more, he's like tapping me on the shoulder, like tapping his shoulder. You're more than just this body. You're more than this. You're more than this. You're so much more than this. And you can be more than this during your life. Part of what the soul's journey is is to become, to become more fully, to become more fully integrated, integral, integral, F more fully interactive, better match, I think, for the channel, fully interactive in your life. But to do that, you need help. And that's what a spirit guide does. It gives you the uh, advice on how to bring your, bring forward, bring, I uh, know he says, how to bring, 
how to bring through, how to, how to break through into your human reality what your spirit wants, why your spirit came here in the first place. is simply to just bring light, to bring light and uplifting and inspired energy to your human experience while you're having these adventures. You're supposed to be having these wonderful adventures and discoveries and your mind can throw a wrench in that at times. So you got to be careful to manage things in a way that doesn't, you don't want to uh, make the mind the bad guy because if you do that, then you're just going to be fighting. Your whole life is going to be about fight, struggle, conflict, you know, problems. You're going to create more problems for yourself. So you've got to be inclusive and allow the mind to have input. But the important thing to note is that the spiritual freedom that you seek can be achieved when your spirit guide comes in and can help uh, negotiate that, can help afford playtime for your spirit because that's what you want is you want all that light energy and the mind isn't used to that the mind likes things to be neat and orderly and is constantly trying to keep things neat and orderly and that's the spirit doesn't have boundaries there's no borders in the spirit there's no limits to who you are inside of your spirit in your soul as a soulful being so your spirit guide knows that best it knows how to manage that so, Robin, you refer to spirit guide as a person or as an, uh, uh, an assistant or, um, let's say, helper to your soul or uh, a spirit guide as a helper to your spirit. So is it a person? Is our spirit guide a person? How does that work? Like, how can we think about this? He says, ah, that's the problem. You can't think about it. You've got to feel it. You simply have to just know it. You have to accept it, that that's just the truth. That your soul has guide, has guidance, has, uh, he says, your soul has guide. Okay. Um, it's not a person. It's not a person, a place, a thing. Uh, it's the best way. It's ambiguous. It's fluid. It's, uh, it's uh, the, the closest to connect it with is energy. So think of it as a ball of light a big circle of light that is a resource for you that can uh, shine you up, uh, you know, buff and shine you up like a car wash. That's what he's like showing me going to the car wash and getting a buff, like buff, not just shine, but like polishing the car. Like that's what your spirit guide light ball could do for you. So Robin is describing a spirit guide as this like ball of energy and light. And it's like that buffs us buffs our energy is kind of what he's showing me you know that's what like polishing us <laughs> is what it looks like all right so the so a spirit guide isn't a person then to you in your understanding a spirit guide isn't a person or how, do, how does that can you explain that he says no i didn't he says i didn't say that I simply am sharing with you the viewpoint and perspective that I have as a spirit. That's what you requested. And so then it is about energy. It is not about uh, a body. A spirit guide doesn't have a body. They don't have a body. You can make it into a person, whatever form you want that energy to take, it can take for you. It's, it's, it's beautiful, it's brilliant. They can act in any capacity that you choose to put them in. They can play any role. So in this way, yes, they can show up. And I know you're thinking, you know, they can show up as a knight in shining armor for you or be your grandmother if you choose. So can, okay, this is a good question, Robin. All right. So can people who have died that we know, like for me, my dad or my grandpa, can they be spirit guides for us? And if so, how does that work? Can you explain that a little bit? He says, I'm not in charge of anything over here. I just want everybody to know. I'm right over here, I am not in charge of anything. I am just, I'm just here to talk about what, what I see, what I know, and that's different maybe than what you think. From what I've seen, there are 
there are many, especially those grandmas, they are just pushy, those old ladies. They want to come back and they want to serve you. They want to be all up in your life business. They want to be there. And that is granted. There are cases where I've seen where people who leave their lives recently in the same, you know, recent li recently left the body, decide to step in to another way, in another way as a, a spirit guide. And so it is true that can happen. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that more than a few times. That's true. That might be different than what you know, Bridget, what you experience. Well, Robin, actually, I mean, I'm getting more open-minded about the concept of spirit guide because as I've been talking to afterlife celebrities and asking them the question about what is, what is a spirit guide, I'm learning that it really is different based upon your experiences. And even though in the afterlife you are a spirit and spirit is connected to spirit and you're all connected, you're all part of like a oneness or an energy, you still have the ability to reflect back upon what you've seen in your experience as an afterlife spirit and with your unique human life because you brought up things about the body that other um, so far other celebrities that I've talked to about the spirit guide what is a spirit guide question um, have said some different have some have shared some different different perspectives so I think that's that's quite fascinating to me and the fact that our loved ones can actually be a guide for us, like your grandpa can look over your child and that kind of a thing, it feels good to know that. And, and it sounds like it's their choice or there's some kind of an arrangement that's made and they can do that. And so I know they can visit because I mean, I do a mediumship, I'm a medium. I mean, I talk to dead people all the time that go on and there are nosy dead people. You're right, there are old ladies that are very pushy in sessions that I do, especially those grandmas are just like, hey, I want to be there. I want to watch over them. I want to be there. I want to be there. And it's not good enough to just visit every once in a while and they want to live there, you know? And so spirit guide, I guess, would be a capacity that would be a good balance for that. So that's interesting. So it's not all, all cases, it's in some cases. And it sounds like it's really individual. It's like customized. So, okay. So can we request a spirit guide? Can we request someone be our spirit guide? Like you, for example, which I, no offense, Robin, but I don't know if I can handle you as a spirit guide because you really have a lot of different energy. <laughs> oh, not that I don't love it. I do love it. I do love it very, very much. It's very lighthearted and, and he brings a lot of joy. Can you guys feel that? It's very lighthearted, but then he can drop into kind of more of a serious tone and talk to us in an intellectual capacity. So I appreciate the, the vast, um, range that you have and how you can connect and what energies you can bring. In. I think that's really helpful to people who are watching, you know, to feel that. So I didn't even remember my question now because I just, I kind of felt into your energy and I'm like, what, what guides, spirit guides? Oh yeah. Can we request, he's like, you really, can you request? He said, you were going to ask me if I, you can request to work with me. Okay. <laughs> so can we request to work with afterlife? celebrities so once a celebrity dies during our lifetime or even before like somebody that died before we were born can we request that they be our spirit guide can we put in a request and ask he says you can ask for anything that's a really big he said Bridget that's a really big point you should make we need to make this point he says that's a really big point you can ask and you should be asking ask for help ask for what you want ask for what you want to manifest ask for for um, the dreams that you have, talk about a lot of stuff. Talk about what's inside of you. Talk about that. Give your spirit a voice, he says. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Yes, you can ask. Yes, you can ask. And for most of us, we will oblige you. We will simply show up. And, and for some, um, for many, the easiest way to do that, the quickest way is to do it in dream state when people are dreaming and having dreams. And it's funny because people will talk to each other about their dreams and really it's a spiritual contact. It's a spiritual connection. Now, the exact literal interpretation of what goes on during that dream, you know, crazy things, or if you see a scene from a movie and then you connect with me, it doesn't mean that it's a literal message about the movie or the exact experience. It simply means that there's contact has been made. So just me showing up, if you're dreaming and I show up to your wedding, or if you're, you know, in your dream, or if you're dreaming, you're doing a presentation at your work and I show up uh, as one of the bosses or something, it, you know, it's not literal. I'm not trying to give you a message necessarily about your job or about your love life. 
um, not qualified really for that, um, but, <laughs> but it simply means you've made contact. So when you ask for us to show up, we show up. Now, as far as the guide goes, spirit guide, like a long-term arrangement or assignment, now that's up to, that's between your higher self, your soul self, and the spirit. So I can't speak for others, but I'm certainly willing to help people out. And I am in, I am in multiple places and many times I have a lot of shows going on at the same time. So I help, I do help a lot. One of the passions I have is to help actors, actors and actresses and people who are, um, you know, artistic and creative types, whether they're musicians or um, in the theater or, uh, you know, it really feels like, oh, Robin, I can really feel like the entertainment industry is a big deal. Yes, and not because they need to be successful as recognized as a great actor or, or an incredible musician or, you know, famous, but because it's important to express yourself. It's important to connect. And when you're connecting with your spirit, that's when you're making things. That's when you're being artistic. That artistic expression is the freest the way you're the most free in your soul, your spirit is free and that's the point, is to let your spirit out so it can be part of the human life that you choose to, to live, you know? And, and if you pick up an instrument and you play an instrument, you may play it your whole life. And you play guitar in a band and you may not be queen in the band, right? You may not be in the band queen, but, but you may really enjoy playing the guitar. And so in times in your life, especially times when you are, are introspective, you'll pick up that guitar and you will play and it will bring that energy of comfort and of release and of connection for you. And that's the most important thing is connection. That's what your spirit is being guided to is connection. I hope that helps. Does that make sense? I think so. I'm going to have to watch this to understand. You have a lot of different layers that you've brought in, some different things that, that other um, afterlife celebrity guests haven't, haven't talked about yet at this point. He says to me, you're opening your mind, Bridget. I am. I am. We can always open our mind even more. Even if you think you're open-minded, you can always, there's always room to learn. And when I do that, I can feel Robin's like, ooh, yay, sparkly, you know. When I'm doing this, these conversations, I actually feel myself expanding. Like I feel I'm letting my spirit light come out even more expressed into my reality. So, wow, thank you. Thank you, Robin, very much. And thank you. Thank you for watching this channel with Robin Williams in the afterlife. We've been talking about this concept of spirit guides. What is that? I hope you've gained a lot of um, interesting insight and information. I hope you can feel the energy of Robin Williams coming through in this channel. Remember at Above Life Channel, the purpose is to inspire your spirit after all and to fill you up with hope. I hope that we've done that today. Remember, this is your life, so live it. Thanks for watching.